Hello there, everyone, and welcome. This is Melissa Arma with the Stock Swoosh, and I just wanted to wish everyone a very healthy and happy Thanksgiving. It's a time of the year where you kind of get ready for the holidays, and you relax a little bit, and you're with your friends and your family, and you get all excited about all the festivities and things that are coming up between now and the end of the year. But it is also a time sometimes when people can get depressed or stressed out. Don't do that to yourself this year. You think, oh my gosh, I have all these things to do and I until the end of the year, or, or maybe you've been trading, you're like, oh my gosh, I didn't, I didn't meet my goals this year. What am I going to do? I only have one month left to trade. Don't think like that. The best thing that you can do, and specifically because we're getting into a really significant year, 2020, there's there's some significance to that. In fact, let's let's look at let's look it up right now, actually, because I I want to know myself, because I know there is some significance. Because numbers, numbers have meaning. 2020 significance. Oh my gosh, it came right up. It came right up. Here we go. I didn't even Google this until now. This is live. I just Googled it. The meaning of number 2020 symbolizes faith and trust in relationships. Wow, is that a good one for me or what? <laughs> I seriously did not even look at this until right now. Seriously. All right, hold on. I'm not done. Wow, I'm going to read that again. The meaning of number 2020 symbolizes faith and trust in relationships. You can have the most amazing kind of love in the world, but if you don't trust or stay faithful to your partner, it's all for naught. Wow. Wow, that is a wild one. There's a, there's a lot more here. We're going we're gonna to explore all the meanings of 2020, but that was a good first one, I have to tell you. So let's, let's relate that to you as a trader right now. Faith and trust in relationships. And you know what it is? It's about faith and trust in yourself. If you're a person that's been attempting to trade the market and you've been failing or you feel like you've lost your way or you don't know where to go or, or what strategy to do or, or what to follow or who to follow, you have to trust yourself. One of the reasons that I credit myself for my own success is because I really have a lot of trust in myself. I listen to my instincts. I trust my instincts. And in some ways, I'm an instinctual trader, which is how I develop my own system. The system is a criteria that I use, but I really develop that myself through my own instincts and trustworthiness in my own abilities, okay, which I trust daily. Whenever I'm calling trades, I mean, for all the trades that I put out in a whole calendar year, I really have to trust myself. And then I'm trusting myself to say, well, this is going to go here and this is going to go there and Disney's going to move higher and the market's going to break out to new highs today like I said that on Monday which of course it did so faith and trust in yourself which is very important and if you don't have that trust in yourself that confidence in yourself that self-esteem then you need to build it and so it's very important I think to take the energy that you have right now whatever's happened in your life whatever whatever you're feeling whatever stress let it go and take some positive momentum. Like start right now as if, as if, as if tomorrow was January 1st, 2020, or as if it was happening like in a week, instead of thinking, oh gosh, you know, I've got a month. Think, you know what? I'm going to start right now. Like 2020 in your mind, fresh start, fresh attitude, great perspective, trusting yourself. You're going to make all this money in 2020. You're going to have an amazing trading year. Market's going to have an amazing year. You're going to do fantastic. You're going to be better than you ever had before. You're going to make more money than you've ever dreamed of. Start putting all of that out there and take that positive momentum into the next year. Like take it with you as if you were scooping it up and just it's going along with you as if as if the momentum was actually moving you like start making the shift right now it's very very important to do that I'm, I'm doing that already myself actually i've already been in this process myself about some things that i want to change and improve about my own life okay and so that was a very interesting message let's just see if there's anything else that comes up here now this is this came up when i google 2020 year, but get this. And again, this just came up under this, and there's there's significance to this too. What does 2020 mean? Now, as we know, you've heard of 2020 vision. Well, this this let's listen to this. 2020 vision is a term used to express normal visual acuity, the clarity or sharpness of vision. 2020, you can see clearly. Yeah. 
2020 is going to be a year when I can see very, very clearly, clearer than I've ever seen before. And you too, and you too, yeah. We're gonna to continue to look at meanings for 2020 here. This is very interesting, it's the first time I did it today. I'm already starting to make a shift. The energy is changing. Things are moving forward and the momentum is coming in already and 2020 isn't even here. Take what I'm saying seriously. If you really want to have a big year in 2020, you have to start thinking about it, acting, putting things into perspective. It is, it's in your mind. It's creating it as if it's already happened and occurred. And I'm not the per first person that said that. I'm sure you've heard that before. So I've really done it in my own life to create things that I wanted and desired. You've got to start thinking positively. You need more than that. If you want to be successful treating, you need the tools, the education, which you can learn from me. You also have to have a positive mindset, though, as well. It's very, very important, not just in trading, but in finances, in business, in life. So have a great, wonderful holiday, everybody. We'll talk about this more in the future. If you're interested in more information about the Stock Swoosh, email me and Melissa at thestockswoosh.com. Have a great day and a great holiday.